astros on the Hello ladies and gentlemen subscribe Astro Sunder and press the bell icon. Today we are going to see. The part of fortune indicates the area in the horoscope where the owner of the horoscope feels that good fortune is smiling on him. To some, good fortune means that money abounds, to others it means public recognition and acclaim, and to others, it means love, good health, and good luck. The clue according to tradition, to the personal interpretation of good fortune lies in the sign and house placement of the part of fortune. The part of fortune will be the exact amount of degrees and minutes distant from the ascendant as the moon is distant from the Sunday. So, for example, if the moon is 73 degrees after the sun, within the second eighth of the lunation cycle, the part of fortune will be 73 degrees after the ascendant. The same example, in zodiacal terms could have the ascendant at 10 degrees Taurus, the sun at 00, zero Gemini, and the moon at 13 degrees Leo. This is a distance of the 73 degrees mentioned above. Because the ascendant is 10 degrees Taurus, the part of fortune is 73 degrees later, or 23 degrees of Cancer. The sign of the part of fortune is dependent on the sign and degree of the ascendant, leading to a wide variety of possible signs for the part of fortune on any given day. The house position of the part of fortune, however, depends upon the distance that the moon is from the Sunday. For example, in a natal chart cast for right after the new moon, the part of fortune will be in the first house, because the moon has not yet moved far from the sun, and the part of fortune is close to the ascendant. As another example of house position, consider the hours after a full moon, when the part of fortune is in the seventh house because the moon is located a little bit more than 180 degrees from the Sunday. The secret of part of fortune in eleventh house. If you have part of fortune in the eleventh house in your birth chart, you feel a great altruism that you have to put into practice by doing something for others, with great imagination. Part of fortune in the 11th house makes you creative and inventive, with a vision for everything that is new and out of the ordinary. The part of fortune is associated with visions that help develop and progress the human race. With this part of fortune, you know the final goal of man and the potentialities that humanity should develop. You are independent. You can observe the past while living and keeping yourself in the present, which helps you to free yourself from everyday problems or overwhelming situations. You have enormous energy, which can cause you great restlessness. It also makes you think that you should be doing or creating something else with your life to feel good about yourself. Since your part of fortune is in the 11th house of your birth chart, the 5th house is the opposite house. Through the 5th house, you have an intensified experience of the human creative power. But you should not personally identify with any idea, project, or relationship. You must learn to channel it impersonally by being detached to the effort you put into doing things. This helps you to organize people for the benefit of all. You show that is it the common ideas or projects that give the necessary confidence to others so that things are carried out with the greatest possible harmony and in an atmosphere of mutual trust and assistance. You attract people to your life who think the same way you do. You are always in touch with people who give life and color to your projects. You are lucky enough to meet very special and very intelligent people, who will always help you in your search and inspire you giving you more open-mindedness and wisdom. When you feel good in the company of others, you have great creative inspiration. You see yourself as a product and at the same time a catalyst for the future. The world needs visionaries and inventions that help humanity evolve. You like to think about the possibilities of the future of humankind and take part in helping to develop them and live in a more humanitarian world. You do not feel constrained by social limitations, but you feel free to question the traditions accepted by most people. They do not limit you from doing what you want. For all this, 
your part of fortune in the eleventh house brings you a fulfillment far superior to the normal, not only because it makes you very visionary and free, but because it makes you somewhat eccentric. Maybe, you do not fit in society's ordinary or mediocre reality. You will feel great satisfaction knowing mankind's proper place in life and that each one finds the most appropriate environment for their individuality. You can develop this with very different people of very definite and free individuality. Your fulfillment will come through taking responsibility for manifesting your vision and fulfilling the mission of being a channel that connects with the true evolution towards the universal freedom of mankind. In short, Part of Fortune in the Eleventh House The person with his part of fortune in the eleventh house is usually way ahead of the time in which he lives when it comes to his mentality, his dreams, hopes, goals, and his view of the world. This is a person who thinks in terms of brotherhood, altruistic unity, humanitarian values. He wants to do things that benefit society as a whole. This is why he sometimes sees himself as a reformer of sorts, improving social, cultural, or spiritual values in those around him. He wants better conditions for his community as well as for humanity.